Hey guys, so um, as you can see, it's a really, really dramatic look. I thought I'd just um, end the year with you know something really dramatic, something very loud, which is my favorite. So it's kind of like a cut crease look with tons of glitter on it. I don't know whether you can see the glitter. Before I start off the tutorial, I just wanted to say um, a huge thank you to everyone who's been supporting me this entire year. I cannot believe that 2011 is really coming to an end. It felt like it felt like just yesterday I was doing my first tutorial for 2011 and then now it's already coming to an end. Um, it's been an amazing year. Um, so much has happened. Um, so many changes. Um, I've gotten some really, really fun and exciting um, events that I've done. Like um, I did... Um, I'm currently the official makeup artist for the Miss Indian International pageant which is happening in Singapore in April. So we started the auditions round already. So if you're an Indian of any origin um, and you're as long as you are going to be in Singapore throughout until April, um, do check out my fan page for the details for the pageant. Um, what else? Uh, I got to meet so many new people. Um, I did makeup for Miss Universe, um, the 2011 winner when she was down in Singapore. It was an amazing experience. Um, there's just so much right now that I, I just can't think of anything at the moment right now but um, basically thank you guys thank you all so much for the support and it's really amazing that um, every time I have some every time I post something you guys have got really really sweet things to say you know even if it's something as simple as commenting and saying thank you for the video it really really makes me really happy and it makes me want to do more videos because I know that you guys are really appreciative about them so um, yeah this is the last video for 2011 um, Here's hoping that we get a lot more fun and exciting videos in the next coming year. Thanks for watching guys and thanks for all the support. Bye bye. Okay, so, um, starting off with applying my first eyeshadow base which is the white one, Makeup Forever Aqua Cream. Applying it to my eyebrow, just below my eyebrow, my brow bone. Just there. Up till the crease basically. Um, if you're interested in finding out what colors I have on my nails, you can check out my um, Instagram. Instagram is actually, if you have an iPhone or probably a Blackberry as well, you would know what an Instagram application is. I, I always post pictures, random pictures there and like um, on, about my nails and my cats, myself or whatever ha whatever's happening. Um, you can just go check out Instagram, you can download the application. Of course my username there is Faces by Sarah. Then I'm going to go for my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly and just a little bit over the remainder of the eyelid. But I'm going to create the cut crease effect first and this probably takes a bit of time so you want to be patient with it, don't rush into it. I'm using my Inglot Gel Eyeliner in black and just an angled brush, okay? And I'm taking very little. You really don't want there to be too much product on, just very little. And really, really just slowly take your time and do this. Okay, I'm starting up with the line at the top. Okay, like that. And then I'm gonna bring that in. Okay, so that's done. Okay. Then I'm gonna go with some loose powder. You have to apply loose powder because there's gonna be tons of fallouts. Apply this here. Okay. And then I'm gonna start first with um, this really small crease brush. This one is from the Sigma Make Me Blush Collection. It's the pencil brush. It's a really small, cute brush. And I'm going to start with some black. I'm going to very slowly go over that crease that I just created. Ok, 
okay to say that. Alright, then what I'm going to do next is I'm going for another crease brush. I'm going to go for my purple, sugar pink purple, and blend out onto the crease. Like okay, so that's blended out. I'm going to go for the sugar pill white right now or any matte white that you have and just cover up the rest of the eyelid and this will actually work as a base for our glitter later on. the bottom line now as you can see it goes out straight and then it goes out rather than just stopping there so I'm gonna use um I'm gonna use my pencil liner and dipping it into my uh, gel liner this is the makeup forever aqua eyes very very slightly dipping it in and just very briefly going under your lash line when you get a bit closer I'm going to stop right there and then I'm going to go back for my um, angle, angle brush that I use with the crease I'm going to pick up some of black and very lightly I'm going to just draw the line outwards I'm going for a really flat shader brush this is the Sigma E20 and going back for the black again so just smudge it all out with the black eyeshadow. Okay, especially that little corner there. Alright, and then once you've done black, you want to go for your purple. So I'm going for the sugar peel purple again. The same brush. And just blending over that. So it has kind of a purple tinge to it applying um this is like a real really really holographic glitter it's from inovi or inovi okay so you can see it's really like holographic so i'm going to use my dual eyelash glue and a really small flat brush like that okay just putting some in the back of my hand and you want to work um, bit by bit when you're doing this. I'm basically going to cover up the whole white color eye space that you see there. Okay, so all this white eye space is going to get covered up. Okay, I'm just going to put the glue on. So I basically um, glued on some fake eyelashes and you can see the glitter is really nicely done all over the lid and I'm going to wait for the eyelash to dry a little bit and I'm going to fill in my waterline using my gel eyeliner and my pencil eyeliner Okay, and just lining my waterline like that And the look is done so it's a really dramatic look um, lots of glitter and just really out there so um, once again thank you so much you guys for supporting me throughout this entire year and um, Merry Christmas and a very happy new year take care guys bye bye